is what it all comes down to right here, guys. She's got to get fourth or better. Just turned onto Washugal River Road, heading up the hill, making our way to the motocross park. I got the world's uh, most supportive little brother right here. So if you didn't watch the video yesterday, Lillian uh, got fourth, which she has to get fourth overall to qualify for the Loretta Lynn National Championship. So she's right where she needs to be. However, the girl in fifth, the girl that was right behind her was closing in on her at the end. So I think the other girl might have had a little bit more speed, but then again, Lillian was kind of taking it easy because she had a gap, a little bit of a buffer, so I didn't think she wanted to risk anything. So it's going to be close, this is all I'm saying. It's not guaranteed. Uh, she's got to get fourth because of fifth. If the other girl that got fifth gets fourth, then she will have the better second finish, so she'll take the uh, fourth overall. And you guys, last night I was looking at the GoPro footage of Lillian. And I noticed some things that I feel like she could shave her, her lap time down. I feel like she could have had some better line choices. And that's always the case. Like if you're watching footage of someone ride, it's always easier to point out mistakes and point out and notice things that they could have done better versus when you're the one riding in real time. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna just let her watch the footage of her ride and see what she finds that she could have done better. Or if there's time, maybe I'll have Shore watch the footage and, and see if he can uh, give her some pointers because I know if I'm like, hey, you should have done this or why didn't you, you know, do this next time, she's just gonna be like, you know, quiet old man, I'm faster than you. Like how, how many uh, Loretta regionals have you been to? That's right, none. Just be quiet and make more money and let me do the riding. I'm just kidding, she won't be exactly like that, but she'll be more open to it coming from somebody else than coming from me. So uh, we'll see if we can find someone that can give her some advice on line choice. Hold it on longer in a couple spots and then break harder um, and then try to find lines around all the huge bumps. And I got a plan. What if you guys distract Locker and Turner on the start and I put a GoPro on her helmet and she doesn't know about it, we get her disqualified? Yeah, and then you win. Okay. All right. That was probably the best move of the day right there. All Red tries to go around the outside, Duke fades from the inside, takes his line away from the outside, All Red cuts underneath him, scrubs right past him over the triple. Isla, just one injured Phillips today, okay? That's all. But it all comes down to right here, guys. She's got to get fourth or better. Shouldn't they have a boy for the 32nd board for the girls' class? Just a thought.
Well, it's not over yet. Anything could happen, right, Jay Sexton? I think we got Isla way out in second. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and low in tenth. I 
I think she might be in fifth. We got Isla second, checking out. We got third over the huff and jump, fourth. And we got Lillian in fifth. She's pushing it so hard, guys, but fifth is not, I don't think, with the points, I don't think fifth is gonna get her a fourth overall. Pushing. I think she might have thought she had one more lap to go. Okay, no one saw, just ask you're fine. I think that's the hardest I've ever seen her ride though. That was the hardest I've ever seen her push. Good job, Lil. This close. Almost. Good job. My bike wouldn't start. I was, Did you fall? Yeah. Did you go to the triple? <laughs> you did the triple. Like, I came up so short. Time, uh, no, I only hit it once and I came up so short. <laughs> I'm not as short as the guy that was before. Dude, after class. the... Crandall's up it so rutted and I crashed. You got it on your phone? Well, no, but I got it. On your GoPro? GoPro. Yeah? It's from here, here but I'll send it to okay. you. Okay, yeah. yeah, send it to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, she saved it. Like, we talked about it. She's like, no, I don't think I'm going to hit it. It's like, oh, it's, it's really, uh, it's really rough. And then I think she was just desperate and just went for it. Well, she got fifth, right? She got fifth, yep. Fourth yesterday, fifth today? Yep. You worked hard. Yeah. You did awesome. Thanks, man. Thanks, bro. You got some good shots. Mm -hmm. Mr. Perot, Did you get a crash? <laughs> what place were you in? Close. You were so close. Did you get fifth? Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, come on. Come on, Mike. I don't know why it was so rutted back there. And my bike didn't start. And then I slid all the way down the hill. You charged really hard, though. You were really close. Yeah. You did awesome, though. That's a lot of heart. Like you didn't give up. I thought like, all right, it's it's like not happening, just not working out today. But you kept pushing, and you were right there. On the first lap, I thought about it, and then the second lap, I didn't get a good run. And the third lap, I did it, and I didn't, like if I went a little, if I had more speed coming out of the corner, I'm yeah. glad I didn't land sideways because I would have eaten crap. Yeah. If I landed sideways. Yeah, I, I saw you go outside in that turn. I was like, why is she going outside? And then the next lap, you went for the triple. I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, but I knew I was gonna case it, so I like squeezed the bike, and I thought I was gonna loop out, but I like yeah. held on. No, you Save rode it. you rode right out. Just because it would get it. <laughs> yep. See, if I got, I'm saying if my bike started right away, I would have gone and I would have caught next to Yeah, you would have caught her. It's all right. I'm proud of you though. That was amazing. And I was so tired and I kept almost crashing. Can you undo that? Yeah. Yeah, your start wasn't quite as good as yesterday. I, I managed. But you were still right there. Fifth or fourth, like going up the hill. Yeah, you made. Yeah, I mean, I was in four. You made one pass. You're like right on Isla at the hill. I don't even know what, what I did. I don't know what you did either. That was a weird one. Oh, jeez, your bike's upside down. Every. 
you helped everyone up. Now look, it doesn't start. Oh, uh, wow. See, like, at this point, a lot of people would have gave up, but you just charged until the very checker. Dude, you went around here and then cut to the inside. <laughs> Yeah, where else was I supposed to pass I'm so glad I didn't crash. Like, I prepared to case it. Yeah. Shout out M9 suspension. That saved me. I did not hit it with enough speed. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you, like, wheelied out of that. You want your bike? Here. See this transponder right here? No other transponder was ridden with as much heart as this one right here. What's that? I'm trying to get it to focus. Here we go. All right, there we go. Hang town. Here we come. Hey guys, real quick. So if you just watched the YouTube video that you were just watching just now where Lillian laid it all on the line, probably just did the best ride that she's ever done, laid it all out there trying to qualify for Loretta's. She came up one spot short and I would want nothing more than to give her the opportunity to go to Hangtown and try one more time. Unfortunately, just looking at the cost of uh, like hotels and you know, with gas, race fees, lodging, it's probably gonna be like close to $2,000. So what we're doing to try to raise funds for her to go next weekend is we got these uh, Road to Loretta shirts uh, with Lillian's likeness on them that we are selling on our website as well as we got some equally snazzy new Send It shirts right, right there. <laughs> So if you guys wanna support and help Lillian to continue along her road to Loretta's, um, if you guys buy a shirt, either this one or that one, buy, let's see, we need to leave probably Thursday morning. So if you buy one by Wednesday night, what we'll do is we'll put everyone's name in a hat and draw two winners and we'll give away her uh, number plate that she's racing with next weekend, as well as a race jersey off the of ask permission figure out which race jersey she's okay with giving away but we'll give away one person will get uh her number plate one person will get her um race jersey so every time you purchase a shirt you're entered or if you don't want to purchase a shirt if you just want to go to our gofundme every time you put ten dollars into the gofundme then we'll count that as an entry too uh and somebody donated to help out last weekend so i'll count that also if you donated last weekend i'll count that towards the giveaway but yeah you guys i'm excited i really do want to see lillian get another shot at this so if you want to support if you want to help out if you can then we really appreciate it thanks for watching and um love you guys thank you very much